Hi, this is Steve from OE Updates, and in, in this video I want to talk about uh, sending and receiving mail on the internet. And I want to cover two scenarios. I want to cover sending and receiving using a standard email client, desktop based client like Outlook, Outlook Express, and using a web based client, i.e., a web browser. So let's start with an email client, and we have someone sitting at his PC, his laptop and composes his email. Once he's composed his email, he connects his client to his internet service email provider, whatever provider that is, and he sends that email using a protocol called SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So the email is sent from his client machine to the email server here. This server is located on the internet. Now, once here, it is then transferred across the internet to other email servers and it lands up here at its destination on the email server this is the email server of the recipient there now it sits there waiting for the recipient to connect to this machine so the recipient sitting over here sitting at his PC, connects his machine to the email server and this time is using a protocol called POP3 or an alternative protocol is IMAP4 POP3 or IMAP4. Now these protocols are used for receiving mail on the internet so he connects using one of these protocols and the mail is then transferred from the email server to the email client using POP3. That is probably used in 80% of the cases. So the email is no longer on this email server, it is here on the client. You can configure the POP3 client to behave differently, IMAP4 behaves differently. Um, and we cover that on the website in understanding POP3 and IMAP4, the differences. Okay, so now we've got the email. What happens if he wants to reply? Well, he connects to the email server using SMTP and sends the reply. The reply gets transferred across the internet. And now, this is using SMTP across the internet. And it arrives now at the re email server of the recipient. This guy now connects to the email server using, again, POP3 and retrieves his email. The email is sent or retrieved onto this client machine. So now the email is here. Okay, so that's sending or receiving using a standard client like Outlook, Outlook Express. Now the other alternative is using a web-based client. So this time the guy is sitting there at his computer and he connects to his email server, this time using HTTP. This is the standard protocol you use for connecting to any web page on the internet. Now this email server needs to support what's called webmail. And most, most do these days. So he connects that using HTTP using the client he's going to be using is Internet Explorer 7 or 8, or 6 if you're still using it, or Firefox and, or Safari, whatever browser you're using. And he connects here and he composes his email. And the email is composed on this email server here. It's not composed on the client. And he clicks send and that email is then sent across the internet using standard internet protocols, SMTP, for sending, receiving. And eventually it ends up here on this machine here. Now, as we've already gone through the scenario, we can retrieve this email with POP3 or IMAP4. Alternatively, he can connect to this email server using HTTP and use webmail to read the email. Now the email stays on this server here in that case. The email is not transferred to the client in that case. So the difference really between webmail and a desktop based client like Outlook Express uh, Outlook is in webmail all of the sending and receiving is actually done on the email server and the email is never transferred onto the client machine. 
whereas using a desktop client the email is composed on the client machine and, and is sent from the client machine and, if, and eventually when you receive the email it is actually stored on the client machine. Okay, uh, that ends this video on uh, sending and receiving email on the internet. Until next time, bye.